water as something that comes from a stream, and it does, but it also comes to the stream. And our water security, how clean it is, how bad the spring floods are, how cold and abundant our summer water supply is, depends on how it gets there. This is where our water actually comes from a strip of forested land and bunchgrass meadows in the lee of the Rocky Mountains. Almost all of Alberta's water originates on the eastern slopes and foothills of the Rocky Mountains. About 80% starts as snow. Most of the rest is from spring rains. And it doesn't come from the streams, it comes from the land. Fitch is a fisheries biologist who for many years was responsible for southern Alberta's trout streams. Before that, he was the southern region's habitat biologist. He spent decades working to keep streams healthy, and that's led him to focus not so much on the streams as the landscapes they drain from. This logging road built across the slope has intercepted this drainage, whether it's groundwater or surface flow. And instead of allowing that water to flow slowly down slope through the timber to slow it down and be absorbed as shallow groundwater, it's captured this water and now being redirected. And you can see the erosion that's happening because it's running faster than it would through the forest. Behind us is uh, all the silt that's accumulated as a consequence of that uh, capture of the stream. When a watershed is healthy, it has porous soils and a continuous cover of vegetation. Instead of running off quickly, much of the snow meltwater and rain gets trapped in the vegetation and soaks into the soil. Water that would have run off in a, in a couple weeks on the surface actually can take months, even years, to work its way down slope through the ground. When it comes out, it's been filtered by its exposure to all of this old material. It comes out cold and clean into the streams when we most need water in those streams, summer, fall, winter. Where groundwater emerges into the floodplain of a stream, that's called base flow. That's what keeps creeks and rivers cool and flowing during seasons when there is little or no snow melt or rainfall. Unhealthy watersheds drain the spring runoff quickly, sending floods of muddy water crashing down streams to places where we live. Healthy watersheds absorb a lot of that water instead and release it weeks or months later. That's important because it's in summer, fall, and winter when streams need the water the most. And it's in summer when we humans use the most water too. Water managers often build dams to store water in reservoirs, but that can do a lot of harm. Dams block fish migrations and wastewater that our dry foothills winds evaporate into the air. They rearrange river flows so that native plants and animals no longer have natural habitat. The biggest, best, and most important water reservoir in our prairie headwaters is the land itself. Every year, it traps, stores, and releases almost all our water as snowpack and then as runoff and groundwater. The key to a healthy water source is to take care of that reservoir to make the most of its ability to store water, 
and to avoid any land use that makes it leak.